A ride on the Bainbridge Island Ferry from Seattle leads to the second ranked 3A basketball team in the state and one of the best high school players in the country. For the Spartans, senior guard, six foot four, number 32, Stephen Gray. I think he's one of the best shooters around. 32 for two, good. Stephen Gray. His quick shot, and even without the ball, some of the passes that he makes in the open floor, how he sees things. He's definitely a step above every other player, especially uh, you know, in the state at the high school level. Stephen Gray started his high school career at 2A Chimicum, where he scored 53 points in a game as a freshman and was an All-State player his first two years. Uh, you can see it early, but as far as when he really knew is uh, when he was about a sophomore. Uh, you, you knew that he was a little bit more special than others. Uh, understands the game really well. Has a very high IQ for the game. Stephen moved to Bainbridge as a junior. Uh, we knew that if I was going to be successful at the college level, both academically and athletically, that I needed a place where I could play against some of the top players in the state. And Bainbridge offered that playing in the Metro League, which is one of the top uh, divisions in the state. And also they challenged people, their students academically, so it was easy to decision. Gray immediately made his mark at Bainbridge, scoring over 20 points a game to earn all state honors for a third straight year while earning respect in his new school. Our, our guys have embraced him and, and he's just a likable guy. He's a good basketball player, but there's a lot of other things that come along with it. And luckily for us, he's you know a great student, uh, treats everybody in, in an incredible way and, and an unselfish player. 32 for three. But before Stephen ever suited up for Bainbridge, Number one. he made a major decision on his own to play basketball for Gonzaga. We're confident in, in his decision making. Uh, I mean, he is pretty, pretty solid for, for, for as young as he is. So we were like, well, you know, it's your decision, but would you like to think about it, see other places or whatever? He, was, he wasn't interested in all of the recruiting process of that. He fell in love. I hadn't really been a huge Gonzaga person all the up, uh, growing up or whatever, but um, I started looking into it more. I like, you know, their style of play. They produce great guards. Uh, I like the atmosphere that I've that's seen on TV. And then when I got to go for the team camp, got to talk to the coaches, the players. Um, and it was a really tight-knit family group, it seemed like, and it was something that I wanted to be a part of. With his college choice made early, recruiting pressure was never a factor for Steven, but he did find out there's a responsibility that comes with being a future Zag. And when you commit somewhere, go, people know you're going D1, and people start to know who you are. They want to try and come after you because they know that if I can prove that I can play at his level, then so you got to come out and be ready to play every night and sort of protect that reputation you have. So. Steven has handled the pressure, averaging more than 20 points a game for a fourth straight year. And while he's making sure he enjoys his final high school season, he also has his eye on the Zags and is already looking ahead to next year. I like watching Matt Bolden a lot, uh, seeing him as a freshman coming in and play a lot of big minutes and just seeing what he does and try and pick up on those things to maybe help myself when I get there. I'm looking forward to a lot. I mean, as soon as summer starts, that's where I'm at. So it was really exciting just to know that next year that's where I'll be and I'll be able to play in front of that type of crowd.